lights. So the shadow of the cylinder is two parallel lines, just like it is up here on the cube. And you're going to go from the edge here opposite the light source down to the left. And go to the opposite edge and again down to the left. Just make sure your lines are more or less parallel. If they're going a little bit wider out here, that's okay. If it goes off the panel, again, that's okay. All right, once again, we have a curved form. So all these are curved, okay, and it's round. So we may have a highlight line as the light wraps around the form slightly. So don't go all the way, uh, way to the edge. Similar to the um, sphere here, had a highlight line. This is going to have a highlight line on this side as well. So it's going to go dark to light, more light on top, and then uh, number five value, dark value in the shadow. So I'm going to start by going straight up the side, not all the way to the edge, but the furthest surface away from the light source, cross hatching and creating this little strip of value. Add two or three layers. and then move towards the light source. So I'm going angling up. Keeping my pencil on the paper and then I cross hatch and angle down. Gradually lightening my pressure as I get towards the light source because I got to go four, three, two, one. There's going to be a little bit of a white strip on this side. So remember, I got to transition gradually. If you start in shorter strokes, like I did here, okay, and then your progression is just a collection of shorter strokes, if you want to blend with your pencil, start covering larger areas in those, in those gradation spaces. So where I'm transitioning from four to three to two, as I cover more area, it will take those sections and make them one seamless value. So you're going to have white on both sides, but this one's going to be a little bit thicker than this one. Because this side is wrapping around, catching a little bit of light. This one, it's hitting. 
and giving you a little bit more reflection. Let me give a little bit of value, number two value up here the light gray but not much because some of the lights going to be hitting and reflecting off the top here once again if your edges start to get lost redefine them And then your number five down here will be the darkest value, your shadow. But again, do it gradually, don't do it all at once. And I repeat, if your shading looks shiny, you're pressing way too hard. Remember the feathering technique goes one direction. So I'm pulling the pencil towards the light source and I'm lifting my pencil up at the end of each stroke so that it gives just a little disappearing act. And that's what I want as I transition into the lightest area, okay? These uh, kneadable erasers look kind of cumbersome because they're so big, but if you, again, they're moldable. If you pinch them, okay, like this, and create that little line, okay, you can then do some pretty small areas where you can erase just what you want without clobbering everything.
I haven't blended this yet. I like the way it looks just with the pencil. And again, I know that not everybody has their blending stick. So if you have it, use it. If you don't, don't. Just use your pencil to get the blending done. But I'm going to leave this one without blending it at this point. All right, as we move forward, I want to say this, that um, before you turn anything in, if it's not up to your best ability or you know you can do better, I would take the time to do it again. Um, I know sometimes it's frustrating to start over. But sometimes it, when you try something the first time, it just doesn't work out. It will be better the second time. And remember that the videos are up there for you to use and review. You don't have to watch the whole thing in real time. You can fast forward, pause, rewind, whatever you need to do. Um, but the what, kids are asking, how, how hard am I going to grade? You know, within reason. Um, as long as you follow directions and do everything you're supposed to do, um, sometimes in the past kids have turned in stuff that was half done, 